become discolored for various reasons, including a high intake of fluoride in water. More often, teeth take on a brownish color. When the tooth can easily be broken down, the enamel can easily be broken down, it actually is usually broken down. And once it's broken down, it picks stains. And when it picks stains, then that is what we call fluoride. So the stains are actually, they, they generally are pits that then become stained. The fluoride in the toothpaste is what we call topical fluoride. Even when a patient comes to you and they have dental fluorosis, mm -hmm. you still have to apply that toothpaste in case they are having cavities. Now, topical fluoride does not go into the system. It is just applies on the tooth, increases the hardness of the tooth. And it is not a permanent thing on the tooth. Dental fluorosis can be managed by dentists in different ways. When mild, nothing much is done except bleaching if necessary and keeping good oral hygiene. When a small part of the tooth is discolored, then the tooth is generally of good quality and every other thing, then that part is just slightly removed and a filling done. This filling is what mainly we call masking. When more tooth structure has been destroyed, then you need now to move to the next step. That is when you hear people having veneers done and crowns done. All these come at a cost. For mild, it's just like the cost of a filling. So for mild, if you are doing what you call masking, it will mainly be done in the anterior region because you just want the teeth to, to look aesthetic and therefore it will cost between anything between 3,000 and 5,000. In a public hospital uh, right now, they are being done, so it will go for like about 2,000 per tooth because you, you are looking at maybe six or seven teeth. The veneers become slightly expensive. A veneer, one veneer might go for between 25,000 to 30,000 per veneer. And then for the crowns, now those go again to 20 to 25,000 per crown. As with most other conditions, prevention is cheaper than cure. Though buying drinking water may not cushion you from dental fluorosis. You still cook with this water. Mm -hmm. So you'll still take it in form of food. So still you're taking the fluoride. So even, even food that is grown in rich fluoride areas also ends up having the fluoride. And even in tea. Tea is one of the things that really keeps fluoride and you then when you take a lot of tea then you end up having fluorosis. Parents are advised to watch out on their children who like to chew on toothpaste. Fluoride is good on the teeth, not in the body system. Dr. Masi Korir for your health budget, KT News.